guys. Can you hear? Hey guys. So I'm now in the Tongnan, now now Tongnan, Tongluo Valley, which is a very beautiful valley in Chongqing. Guys. Hi, I hope everyone's doing okay. This is Echo from my Chongqing. Here we are doing live stream in Tong Tongluo Valley, which is a very beautiful place in Chongqing. Hi. Hey, Bo Bo Wafa. Hey, guys. Welcome to our channel. This is Echo. Yeah. Can you guys see this? A very beautiful valley beside me. It's called Tongwo Valley. It is located at Yangtze River. Guys, yeah, they keep coming, the visitors, <laughs> because it's very fresh. It's a very fresh and hot place here. It opened in, in last month, in March. Yeah, look at this. Today I'm doing this live stream in this valley because it's spring and I know you guys love to uh, travel on internet with uh, flowers and plants. So today we are showing you this very beautiful site which is transformed from a, a, as a place that you can, you can imagine. Yes. So I have a question for you. Can you guess? what this place used to be can you guess i have one minute for you guys to answer the question <laughs> okay i'll go down i'll go down the steps and uh, climb up and walk through the uh, log gallery covered with roses can you see hey guys very good hi alexa hi everyone Hi, Alexia. Hi. Hi, Ojo Shora. Hi, Tajamal. Hi, Rabina. Hi, guys. So, follow us and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and like and like and share our live stream. And uh, today the weather is quite nice, but it's still I need some I need a little sunshine. Hey, guys. Sunshine will be a little sunshine will be better, but the weather is nice enough to do the live stream. So uh, let's shift the camera. And uh, okay, how can I do this? Okay, let's just switch the camera. Wait a minute, guys. Hey. Can you see? Hi, lovely. Hi, COVID Chen. Hey, guys. Let's go. So, nobody's answered me my question. Can you guys see? There are some lovely deer st statues here. People taking pictures holding the deers. <laughs> yeah. So, what is this place used to be? Can you guess? This very beautiful flower valley. How are you? Hi, Mattis. I'm very good. I'm quite good. <laughs> yeah, the weather is nice. The, the place is beautiful. And I can imagine how I'm glad to do this live stream with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's very beautiful. But... Can you imagine this place? It used to be a dumping place with huge amount of refuse. Can you guess? Can you can you imagine? I don't think I can because it's so beautiful and I don't know where the refuse go. Yeah. It was transformed into this beautiful valley like three years ago. Um, before that, it's like a very nasty place, uh, skated with rocks and waste. 
Yeah, it was. They are also there are there were some companies kept dumping waste in refuse here illegally. How's your life, dear? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm do- I'm doing okay. <laughs> So now I'm keep going, keep going. Hey guys, can you see this? Corona. Nice nails. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I like my I like my nails. <laughs> yeah. So let me keep the storytelling about this place so as i said it used to be a dumping place with huge amount of refuse and waste so it cost as you can imagine it caused massive pollution problems to yangtze river because here you can see there are many cargo ships here it's um the valley it's like a main channel in yangtze river Hey guys, thank you. So, um, it caused very massive environment pollution problems to locals and to the village. So in three years ago, they decided to cooperate with a company here. And and, uh, let me switch the camera in, in case somebody wanted to have a chat with me, right? Is it better? Yeah, I know, I know, because um, I'm going down the steps. So, can you see? Yeah, behind me, Hi, Sal, Savat. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, it's a very beautiful place. And um, three years ago, the people who lived here ha- decided to cooperate with uh, a for- with, within a forest company. So they wanted to reconstruct this place. After three years, ta-da! You see? Wow. Can you see that? Hey guys. So nobody had the answer about what this place used to be. You can't imagine it, right? Yeah, it was so nasty and so so much pollution problems here, but now it's clean and beautiful and it becomes a very famous and popular spot in Chongqing. Yeah. I think we can call it an, an ecological um, scenery park here. Yeah. Now where does ecological return? Quite like China. Thank you. Hi, James. Uh, indeed. Because we have uh, multiple geog- uh, geographical conditions here we have mountains we have rivers we have lakes so it's important to use the uh, sustainable development way to develop the living condition in China in Chongqing yeah yeah it's called the can you see? It's called sustainable development in China, which is a very important policy in recent years. I think Nan has put this policy successfully because we have Guangyang Island project in Nan, which is a very important ecological recovery project in the Yangtze River. Hey guys. Hi, 
what's up? Thank you. Thank you, Nahi. Thank you, Nahi. So let's keep going. I will switch the camera in case you guys can see the beautiful side in front of me. Okay. See? So, do you guys uh, know that in Chongqing, we have uh, how many hills and mountains here? Do you guys know that? Look at this. Wow, lanterns like orange oranges. Yeah. Hey guys. Yes. And it's also a main channel in Yangtze River. So the pollution problem must be solved here. Right? And the whole valley um, covers an area of like 130,000 square, square meters. Yeah. It's a huge place, but covered with multiple kinds of flowers and plants, like azaleas, camellias, roses, osmanthons. Yeah, cherry flowers. Here is like an observation deck, right? Yeah, it's quite beautiful. So let's continue our journey. So if you guys like our live stream, remember, don't forget to like and share our live stream and subscribe our channel, follow our account. I really appreciate that, guys. Okay? So there are music everywhere. I hope you guys can hear my voice. I know my, my voice is loud, but it couldn't be louder than, than the people who is singing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I heard that there are also some picking gardens here where you can pick fruits and there are also restaurants and vendors selling specialties, foods, uh, souvenirs here. So so asking the people they just visited here like me but they found a way just follow them they told me it's a long path to the end so, so this is the first time that I've been here Look at those paintings on the walls for the visitors to take pictures. Yeah. Hey guys. So this is like a very long gallery. Also a pavilion, right? For visitors to rest. Yeah. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey guys. Wow, it's a long gallery, it's a big gallery with observation decks, tables. Yeah. So it's like a restaurant. Yeah, it's like a hot pot restaurant. Maybe they will make one, they will build one here. So, keep walking. I'm keep walking. Okay. Really refreshing. Yeah. See those lanterns hanging on the trees? Oh, they are 
are also plants on the trees. Can you see? Yeah. Fruit, plum fruit. Because this place is new, it just opened at March. So I'm not sure it's plum or cherry or peach, I guess it's peach. Maybe it's peach. If I can come here in like summer, at summer, there will be more fruit here, right? Yeah. So guys, don't forget to like and share our live stream. Okay. Wow. So, well, it definitely is a restaurant because there are so many tables here. Okay. Going down. Wow, look at those beautiful azalea flowers. Look. So in Fangniu village here, we have more than just one flower valley. They have like the cherry flower valley. Oh, how is it? Cherry flower garden and like azalea garden here. They were both new here. And they were both the ecological recovery projects in Nan'an. You see? Well, the beautiful azalea flowers. Well, I would definitely go down and to have a view on this beautiful flower. Follow us, guys. Don't leave our channel and keep talking with me. Wow. Hey, guys. So I can't see how many likes in our live stream. Wow. Wow, so amazing azalea flowers. Look. Wow. Roses. Wow. Can you see? It truly is a very beautiful sight. Besides the Yangtze River. As I said, I can't imagine how nasty this place was, but now it doesn't exist. Yeah, the nasty place just disappeared. Now it's the fresh, new, clean, and very beautiful, astonishing place in Fangniu village. Look at those cargo ships on the river. The water is so beautiful. Actually, if you want to visit a mountain and or a hill in Chongqing, they were also, they were always in the sub districts. Takes hours to get there. But this place, to this place, you can only use less than one hour to get there, to get here. So it's very convenient. You just take a bus and get there, enjoy the flowers, plants, enjoy the trip with your families for like one day. And the river is like cherry on the top. Yeah, I like your description because look at the cargo ships. And they told me that before this valley was transformed, those cargo ships avoid, just avoid the uh their paths you know they they don't want to pass this valley but they have to so it's very huge problem because of the massive pollution but now i think they are happy to be there <laughs> wow this season is for beautiful azalea flowers and roses so to people who lived in Chongqing, um, we get used to find a place, get close to nature and to enjoy food with our family. 
at the weekend. So, can you guys tell me what is the best way in your city to spend the weekend if you want to get close to the nature? Can you guys tell me? Because I want to know. So let's switch the camera again. Okay. In case somebody just missed me. Tell me, guys. Tell me, what is the best way in your city to spend your holiday or spend your weekend with your family if you wanna get close to the nature? Hi, you see, I I think I like this place because it's my first time being here. Um, I don't feel tired at all, even. I have to walk down and walk up and walk through the long gallery, but I'm excited. Maybe it's because the flowers and plants here give me a very astonishing view. I want to visit this place. Yeah, you definitely should visit this place if you are in Chongqing. So let's keep moving, okay? So to those who just enter our live stream, hey guys, this is Echo Chen in Ai Chongqing. I'm here touring you guys in this beautiful valley who was used to be a dumping trash place. Can you imagine? This place used to be a dump. With most with huge amount of refuse and waste, I can't imagine. So after three years efforts, they finally wow! Look at this rose. Can you see? Oh, I like the color. Hi, Hamid. Hi. I know it from the comment area that some people say hello to us with emoji but instead of words but i can see you guys i only can see your id so i'm glad for you guys like our live stream and don't forget to like and share our live stream okay and follow our account and subscribe our channel it will really help our account grow thank you guys let's keep going Wow, downstairs, can you see a lot of lanterns, beautiful lanterns. Let's get down. So I better watch my steps while I'm talking with you guys. So just as I asked, um, there must be a best way for you in your city to spend your holiday and weekend, right? Uh, in Chongqing. People often choose a place that with restaurants and beautiful scenery here, there, to spend it with families and friends. Because Chongqing is a city with multiple geographical conditions. We have mountains, we have fields, we have rivers and lakes in so many sub sub districts and in downtown this place in downtown it's not, it's not like the other place that a little bit far away it's near downtown so you can take a bus uh, it will take just less than one hour to get there and the tickets is like uh, 40 yuan and for those information about this place, we will put this in the comments area after the live stream. So you guys don't worry about it. If you guys want to visit here, just check our live stream and see how I traveled with here. And uh, those specific informations, we will put it on the comments area for you guys if you are in Chongqing, okay? So let's continue. 
So there seems like there are some performance here. Ah. Uh, uh, snap performance. It's just visitors expressing their feelings about this place and taking pictures on this entertainment velocities. So, wow. Hey guys. Hi. Wow, this place is so beautiful. As I said, if you want to find a place to enjoy yourself, to relax, it's almost just in, um, this place are almost in the South District, but this place is near downtown. Chongqing is a city of mountain rivers. It's a uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Nahi. Thank you for your advertisement for Chongqing tourism. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the kind of audience we need to uh, pronounce to tell the world that how beautiful this city is. <laughs> I still can't yes. imagine this place was like a dumping, dumping waste um, place. I still can't imagine because it's so clear. So it must take great effort to reconstruct this place, right? Oh. So here's like the bottom of the valley, right? You can look up. For visitors. So. Don't forget to like and share our live stream, okay? Just click the little little heart shape on the screen if you like our live stream or if you have questions about this place, about Chongqing tourism, about how you can get this place and how to travel in Chongqing or what else do you want us to show you around in this place or in Chongqing. You can always, always communicate with us in the common area. Well, I like to see the river here. Look at this, there are little birds. There are some little birds. Can you see? Resting on the trees. Yeah. You can find, you can feel the inner peace here. So, next process, climb up. Hey guys, I'm sorry I have to wear a mask because there are many visitors here. But it's okay, I, I'm wearing a very comfortable mask. So, um, sometimes when I um at home, I do want to travel around, travel outside, but as I know, these places that in Chongqing are beautiful, but they are so far away, you know? Most of them are in the sub districts. Yes. Yeah, it's like a huge project in this city because, like I said, it's called sustainable development. It's in a very important policy in China. Hi. Hi, Nahid. Nahid, did I spell your name? Correct. 
lately? Because I'm not sure. Today, I think we miss our some audience that really loved us, like Brenda. I didn't see Brenda's comment. Yeah, maybe she's busy with his career or his life, she's, her life. But I do miss our fans in our live stream. So guys, remember to like and share our live stream, okay? It will really help our account grow. And if you want to see more content, more information, well, now I'm in this love gallery. I can't breathe. I can't even breathe. Hey guys, hi. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Needle or Nido? Needle, right? Yeah, that's a cute name. I like it. I just want you to see this, how long this gallery is. And see, look how, how much effort I put for you guys. Okay, guys, no pain, no gain. I think it's necessary to climb up so long stairs in this place. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm breathing like I'm giving birth. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious, right? But it's... I think there will be more entertainment equipment and felicities because this place is not fully complete. The manager told me it will build more flood visitors. Yeah, I'm Chinese. So, here I'm in the pavilion. Hi, guys. No, I'm not Japanese, but I'm glad that you can recognize my name. My Chinese name is Yinzi. It's in Japanese, it's called Eiko. Oh, hi. Our fan, new fans from France. Whew. Let's take off the mask and take a breath. Whew. Switch the camera again so you guys can see me breathing like I'm giving birth. Yeah. Hello from Seattle. Hey guys. Hi. So I remember COVID Chen, you watch our live stream in Tongnan, right? In the Ripsy Flower Field. Honey, hey guys. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Hey guys. So, this place is like a very beautiful valley in Chongqing, but it used to be a dumping place with huge amount of refuse. Can you imagine that? Yeah, it's very. It was very not nasty, but after three years efforts, dear, I know you are tired, but thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys. If you, 
if you appreciate my efforts, just like and share our live stream, okay? I would be really appreciate that. You are watching this view of Yangtze River. This valley is a very important channel. It, actually, it's one of the main channels in Yangtze River, in Chongqing. Yeah, because Chongqing is like an, like an upper city of Yangtze River. So we are important. Yeah. Can you see those cargo ships and big ships pass by? Yeah. But this whole valley used to be what country? China, dear. We are in China, Chongqing. Chongqing is one of the municipalities, municipalities in China, guys. We are a mega city. Yeah. So this place used to be a dumping place, caused massive pollution problems, but now it was transformed into a very beautiful site, beautiful valley with multiple flowers, plants, entertainment facilities, restaurants, vendors selling products, selling specialties for visitors. Can you see? We also have observation decks here. Yeah. So let's continue our journey, okay? Yeah. yeah. I got my energy back. Well, I can smell the elegant scent. I'm in a place called America. Do you know America? Of course I know America. Are you in South America or North America? Hey guys. Is anybody with me? As I said, feel free to ask me any questions about this place. And after the live stream, I'll put the information about this place, about how we can get there, how we can spend our day here, about the restaurant, about the bus, okay? Those informations will be put in the comment area in case you guys want to check, okay? I'm in North America. Hey, hi, what city? My friend just came back to China from North America. Yeah. So just kept climbing. One of my friends who lived in Los Angeles, he came back in China like two months ago. Yeah. Hey guys. So this is the first time that I've been here, but I'm excited. The air is so fresh, full of the sweet scent of flowers, multiple flowers. Yeah, yeah, Baba, Boba, Boba TV, Baba or Boba. It is a very popular populate. I'm sorry. I couldn't control my tongue. <laughs> it is a very popular tourist destination, definitely. But it's new. It opened like in March, just last month. So uh, a lot of people know here, but I think the best season to come here is next month yeah in may because uh, in april there are always much rain in chongqing yeah it always rain in april in chongqing so better come here in may there will be more fruit yeah and you can take less than an hour from downtown to here. Okay, see? 
beautiful flowers, multiple kinds of flowers. We can see uh, cherry flowers, azalea, yeah, roses, camellias. Can you see? Hey, you see camellias. Wow. Look at those colors. So don't forget to like and share our live stream, guys. I really appreciate that. And follow our account and subscribe our channel on the YouTube. Okay? We will bring you more in Chongqing to explore the charm of the city. So many visitors today. Maybe it's because it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday in Chongqing, in China. What is the day in your place? Right? I think in, in North America it's Thursday, right? Hey guys. So, look at this long gallery. Are people allowed to go outside there? Of course, of course. Because we have strict, very strict pandemic control policy in China. And everywhere we have to bring our health code. We have to wear masks in case we can cause problems to each other. So people, I think people in China, we have fully aware of how important this problem is. So we all wear masks voluntarily. Yeah. So, like me, I'm wearing masks. Wearing mask. Mask. So, don't worry to go out in any place. And the vaccine shooting is promoting. Is promoting in many places. So. I don't think we need to worry about that in China. Yeah. Hi, Buba. I'm glad to talk with you. And I think Chongqing is like a place that you haven't known before. But if you get a chance to be here, or just stick where our account. Sorry, I can't breathe because I'm clumpy. Shit. <laughs> Malaysia. Okay. Hi. Well, Buba, if you have a chance, like I said, if you have a chance to visit Chongqing in China, you will see this is a beautiful country and a beautiful city here. Ask, ask COVID. Yeah, he, watch our, he watches our live stream all the time. Yeah. Nahid, COVID, I remember, and Brenda, and some names that I can't spell correctly, but <laughs> it's hard to be in the live stream when you are climbing a mountain. See, guys, as people, as a local in Chongqing, I think I get used to climbing, but yeah, in this place. I've got challenged. <laughs> hey guys. 
Now, I will stay there for a while. Oh, so, so how, how to keep the bu button? Press the button to pass. Okay. I think the journey is done, but guys, if you have any questions about this place or about our live stream, about any advice, or just express your feelings about our live streams, feel free to communicate with me. I really appreciate that. Okay. Look those cargo ships on the river. In case you guys just enter our live stream, I'll say it again. Yeah. So we are in Tong Tongwo Valley. It's beside the Yangtze River where cargo ships passes by. The Tong Tongwo River is also a main channel, main channel of Yangtze River. But in three years ago, hey, hey, Jerry, nice to view China. Hey guys, thank you. Hi, Jerry, is it right? I'm not sure. So this valley used to be a dumping place with huge amount of refuse, scattered it with rocks and waste here. Yeah, it caused massive pollution problems to Yangtze River and the village here. So three years ago, um, people who lived here, they have decided to cooperate with, uh, with an, a forest company to reconstruct this place. So after three years, it took great effort to transport this place. How far is Chongqing to Xiamen? I really like to visit China. It's not far if you take the airplane, just less than two hours, I think. Fly from Xiamen to Chongqing. Yeah. Um, Xiamen is a nice place. It's near Taiwan. Yeah. They share the same culture in Xiamen and Taiwan. It's okay, dear. If you like our live stream and you want to know about Chongqing, you better follow us. Yeah, you better follow our account and subscribe our channel because we are like the official account in Chongqing to promote uh, Chongqing's tourism and culture. Yeah. We do this live stream like every week and after the live stream i will put the specific specific information about this place on the comments area in case you guys want to check okay so let's continue after they decided to cooperate with the within the forest company they start to transform this place but i can I still can imagine this place was a nasty place. So, guys, let's keep keep our journey. Continue, okay? Can you see? There are some lovely nests on the tree. I think they are man-made. Yeah. So, drinks to visitors. Hey guys, in case you are new in our live stream, this is Echo from my Chongqing touring you around in Tongluo Valley. So, there are some informations about the original condition of this place. There are some pictures. You see? Oh. Some original pictures about this place. 
before it was transformed into this beautiful valley. Wow. Skater it with rocks, waste, right? Yeah. Since Chongqing is a、um, is a Napa city in Yangtze River, it's very important to put those ecological recovery project successfully. Actually, we did. We did it、um, very successful. Now, hi everyone. Hi. So guys, so this is the,、uh, the end of our journey. I'm exhausted. Still, we have to know more about Chongqing. Just follow our live stream, follow our account, and subscribe our channel. Like this live stream. Click the or like. Okay, this is huge difference in them and now see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, still pictures hanging on the walls, showing information about this place, about the process of transform, of transforming. Yeah, this project not only just solved the pollution problems in this place, but also it helped、uh, the people who lived here to increase their income by tourism. Bye, Nido. Bye. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. If you like our live stream, don't forget to like our live stream and share it and subscribe our channel. Okay, I'm sorry I say it too often, but Malaysia. Wow, I like your weather. Weather in Malaysia. Yeah, I like the hot weather with huge sunshine. So I guess that's it. That's the end of our live stream today. Thank you guys. Thank you for your company. See you guys next time. See you guys. Bye bye.